welcome to another episode of Impact Yobe. This is where you get information about developmental activities of the administration of Governor May Malabuni in Yobe State, the pride of the Sahel. We bring you some stories about efforts being made by the administration to bring more development to the state. My name is Mark Otabo. Thank you for joining us. Vice President Kashim Shetima arrived in the Maturu, Yobe State Capital, to represent President Bola Tunubu for the launch of the State Agricultural Empowerment Program. Accompanied by top government officials like Governor Baba Galam Zulum of Bono State, Op Uzadima of Imo State, a former Senate President, Senator Ahmed Lawan and others, the Vice President was received by the host Governor May Malabini. As a state reputed for its agricultural prowess, the state government procured various farming input and equipment to boost agriculture and empower farmers in the state. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Nibu, while on a visit to Yobe State on 22nd May 2022, landed at the Buh uh, Muhammad Buhari International Cargo Airport, Damaturu, and paid a courtesy call on His Excellency the Governor of Yobe State. He said, and I quote, Thank you, Governor Buni, for giving Yobe State a new window to the world. This airport will definitely attract investment opportunities and economic development to the state. Similarly, on 15 February 2023, Your Excellency the Vice President Kashim Shetima commissioned a mega school and primary health care center in Portescum. You said, and I quote, Your Excellency, you have no doubt taken the right step to rejuvenate education and to make healthcare delivery accessible and affordable in your best state. Thank you and congratulations to the people of your best state. His Excellency Gombe State Governor Alaji Inoua Muhammad Yaya on 11 February 2023 commissioned the Nguru Modern Market. He said, and I quote, Your Excellency, this edifice is by no means a product of vision, courage, and conviction at this hard time especially coming after the insurgency. I congratulate you and the entire people of your best state. The President of the Ninth Senate, Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan, while commissioning the Gashua Market, named after him on 3rd September 2022, lauded Governor Boni saying, and I quote, the ultra-modern markets in the four local governments are signs of efforts by your administration to create employment opportunities, generate wealth, and ensure sustainable economic development for our state. Thank you, our dear governor and court. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am sure you must be proud of your friend, colleague, and brother for making efforts to turn around and change the narrative here in Yobe State. Today we are here to inaugurate and launch the distribution of the agricultural machines and implements to make agriculture attractive and profitable, to guarantee food security and food sufficiency, and to provide employment opportunities that will propel and make Yobe State a hub of green economy in Nigeria. Excellencies, if you look around, of course, it is evident for everyone to see that this administration, under the leadership of His Excellency Honorable Maimala Buni, is no doubt making efforts to see that Yobe State is not only sufficient, but also to make agriculture a kind of, uh, to, to recover the lives of the people and also to make it economically buoyant. In his remarks, Governor Boone said the aim of the program is to ensure massive food production in the states. I therefore feel honored on behalf of the government and good people of Yobe State, welcome our leader, His Excellency Bola Metinibu GCFR, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, ably represented by my dear brother, His Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima GCON, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, and all other guests to Damatru, the Yobe State capital. Mr. President, sir, your esteemed presence at this occasion today gives our people a sense of belonging 
has been celebrated with resounding cheers by the Mohammed crowd since your arrival. I therefore wish to reassure you that the good people of Yobe State will continue to support your administration as you strive to improve the economy, security, and other developmental challenges facing the nation. Yobe State, as you know, is one of the states grossly devastated by the protracted security challenge. The inaccessibility to farmlands due to security threat and other natural factors such as erosion, desert encroachment, low rainfall, etc., have massively affected agricultural productivity with monumental consequences on the lives of our predominant agricultural population and the economy of the state. In spite of all the challenges, agriculture remains the major preoccupation of our people. With the improvement in security across the state, farmlands are now accessible to almost all the local government areas. This, therefore, has made agriculture the key sector for the post-insurgency recovery program. The government has adopted this strategic measure to revitalize the sector by convening of agriculture summit to chart a new course for improvement in productivity. Constitution of Steering Committee on Revitalization of Agriculture and Development of State Sector Strategic Plan in conjunction with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Develop agricultural policy document to achieve food security, contribute to national economic diversification. The document has been validated in collaboration with EU Yobe Public Finance Management Project in conjunction with DAI International. The Yobe State Government, in collaboration with the Federal Government, has established livestock development centers to curb farmers' hazards, clashes, commercial pasture production, and increase in meat and dairy production. The state is currently reviving 2,000 hectares of lava irrigation scheme in Bursari local government area to cultivate wheat, rice, and vegetables in the next dry season irrigation program. As a leading state with the largest production of high quality sesame seeds, we have established four sesame seed processing factories in Damaturu, Nguru, Machina, and Potiskum. Government has also awarded contract for the rehabilitation of agricultural development program headquarters in Damaturu and the five zonal offices in Buniadi, Gaidam, Goshua, Nguru, Potiskum to enhance effective and accessible extension services to our farmers. The Damaturu International Cargo Airport will effectively be used to transport livestock, milk dairy products, gum arabic, sesame seeds, cowpea, ground notes within and outside the country. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the state, this state visit is no doubt a significant milestone as we launch the Agriculture Empowerment Program with a distribution of 100 Zoom Learn tractors, 10 IMC double cabin four-wheel drive vehicles for supervision of the extension service workers. 200 motorcycles to extension service workers to boost agricultural extension services, 300 sets of ox drawn floors, 5,349 small ruminant goats, 1,349 hand pushed planters, 889 hand pushed plow machines, 590 hand pushed tiller machines, 4,202 solar-powered irrigation water pumps, improve assorted seeds, and 72,000 bags of fertilizer, among others. The distribution arrangement is made up of 30 farmers in each of the 178 electoral wards of the states, making a total of 5,340 farmers to benefit from this scheme. Except for the tractors and fertilizer, all the other agricultural equipment and inputs are to be given out free to our large-scale and medium and subsistence farmers. These efforts 
we believe will augment large-scale agro-value chain development in the state. Government has instituted some measures to check abuse and sale of the machines by the beneficiaries to avoid sabotaging the lofty goals of the intended agricultural revolution in the state. The tractors are to be in the custody of the State Agricultural Development Program at the headquarters in Damatru and the five zonal offices Budiadi, Gaidam, Gashua, Nguru, Potiskum to be hired out to individuals and group farmers across the state. The Agricultural Development Program will carefully monitor to ensure efficiency in service effective maintenance and accountability in process accruing from the hire of the tractors. Let me warn in strong terms that government will not tolerate any act of sabotage to frustrate our commitments to make agriculture attractive, profitable, sustainable, and economically viable, and to guarantee food sufficiency and food security in the state. Therefore, government will deal ruthlessly with any official individual or group who test our will in this regard. I hereby direct the security agencies to arrest and impound tractors and other machines crossing the border lines of the state. <laughs> While such saboteurs are made to face the full wrath of the law. Let me use this opportunity to passionately appeal to the good people of Yobe State to take advantage of this laudable opportunity to embrace agriculture for us to cultivate and produce what we eat to ensure food security and economic development. You will recall the sad and unfortunate experiences we had in Yobe, Borno and Adama states during the trying moments of adverse security challenges, when our people could not access their farmlands as peace alluded this part of the country. We know better what the absence of peace means. We have, we have many sad stories to tell from our horrible experiences. We cannot afford to invite any other threat to peace and security. Therefore, we should jealously guard the peace we now enjoy and never be part of any plot to disturb our hard earned peace. We must not create opportunities for our common enemies to take advantage of any form of protest to send us into another dark and horrible experience. Therefore, Yobe State is categorically saying no to protest and will not participate in any form of protest whatsoever, in whatsoever name. We should remain faithful, prayerful, and optimistic as the federal government under the leadership of His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is taking drastic measures to address all the challenges. This agricultural revolution we are embarking on is in tandem with the federal government's food security and agricultural mechanization agenda. I therefore urge you all to support the program for us to succeed. May I crave the indulgence of Mr. President to support the state to enhance irrigation scheme. We will appreciate you supporting us with mini rigs for tube wells, solar powered water pumps, agrochemicals, power tillers, more fertilizers and other farm implements to complement our efforts in attaining food sufficiency, food security, and economic growth. Let me appreciate the foresight of Mr. President in creating the new Federal Ministry of Livestock. As you may be aware, Yobe State is a leading state in livestock production. We therefore look forward to extension of the service of the new ministry to the huge livestock farmers population in the state. Vice President Shatima described the event as part of efforts to enhance food security and rural development across Nigeria. Food is the heart of security in every society. It is the foundation upon which we build our health, our well-being and our economic stability. In a nation as diverse and vibrant as ours, the provision of sufficient Nutritious food is not merely a goal. It is a fundamental priority that we must pursue with dedication and bigger across all tiers of government. It's an honor to join you today for this shared objective.
Yobe said agricultural empowerment program couldn't have come at a better time. There is no way we are going to achieve our grand goals as a government, whether at the state or national level, until we support and empower our farmers. We must ensure that they have the tools, resources, and knowledge to optimize their production capacity. By doing so, we are not only enhancing our agricultural output, but also contributing to our collective quest to ensure that every Nigerian is well fed and fully engaged in the economic life of our nation. Every intervention to boost agriculture plays a crucial role in the local economy. The aim of an initiative like this transcends food security. It opens new avenues for employment, particularly for our youth and women who are the backbone of our rural communities. The potential for job creation is immense as we envisage a thriving agricultural sector that will absorb many of our unemployed citizens and offer sustainable livelihoods. These are quite interesting times for our nation. We came at a time when we must take inevitable decisions to save the economy, and the short-term consequences are coming to an end. But what we must never miss in our bid to rebuild the economy is the primacy of agriculture. This sector holds immense promise, not only for providing food security, but also for driving economic growth and development. By empowering our farmers and investing in agricultural infrastructure, we are laying the groundwork for a more prosperous and self-reliant Nigeria. It is encouraging for the people, inspiring for other states, and hopeful for all of us to see the good people of Yobe State demonstrating strong resilience to reclaim their means of livelihoods. This support by the Yobe State government will, therefore, make agriculture attractive and improve the farming population in the state to attain food security and economic prosperity. With the improvement in security in Yobe State and the North East generally, it is my hope that the people will take advantage of such interventions to move from subsistence farming to commercial agriculture. With the establishment of four sesame seed processing factories in the state, and the presence of a cargo airport to promote international trade in sesame seeds, gum arabic, and livestock. I am more than confident that this program will enhance the production capacity of UB State and drive its partnership with the federal government, other states, and corporate organizations to achieve the desired diversification. This is a legacy that will outlive us, and as such, each of us must play a part in helping it excel. Since food security, it he noted that agriculture remains the best way to go for Nigeria to avert food insecurity. Rural communities. We have recently approved the creation of the Ministry of Livestock Development. This is intended to improve livestock production in the country and enhance the destiny and narratives of our livestock production. This is in tune with global best practices for healthy meat and dairy consumption and export to improve the economy. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the provision of massive agricultural machines and implements by the U.S. state government has no doubt prepared the ground for an agricultural revolution in U.S. state. I am optimistic that at the end of the cropping season, the people of the state will have sufficient food, both for their households and for export within the country and beyond. Each of us in this gathering must come to terms with the fact that the era of relying on rain-fed agriculture is gone. These machines are here to ease our practice of irrigation farming. Yobe has abandoned arable lands, rivers, and oases to achieve this. It also has an energetic, useful population to make agriculture more than just a means of, product, pro, of producing food, but a lucrative business across the value chain. Today, I assure you, as I have always done, that we are taking drastic measures to address the security challenges to make farmland safe and accessible in every state of the Federation. I am optimistic 
that in no distant time, the new measures will lead the expected results. On your request from the federal government to support the state with mini rigs for tube wells, solar water pumps, agrochemicals, power tillers, more fertilizers and other palm implements to complement your irrigation scheme. I assure you that we operate an open door policy and as such your concern is our concern. Your problem is our problem. I hereby extend to you the approval of the President to oblige you with all your requests. On this note, I have the honor and pleasure to cherish forever on behalf of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, to declare the launch of this massive agricultural empowerment program. The Vice President launched the program on behalf of President Tinubu and inspected the inputs and equipment at the August 27 stadium in the Maturu. This massive investment in agriculture by the Boni administration is the biggest in the history of the state, which would boost agriculture in the northeast states.